All right, let's talk about batteries. Today I'm gonna look kind of dumb, but I mean, what's new, right? Okay, so these are the LG two kilowatt hours. They're 10S by 11P LG batteries, right? And they have that awesome BMS built in. And I said that it was pr proprietary. I hadn't figured out a way to use it. So then we're making this dumb things, right? And so we're, we have a version of that. Then we have this other version and then we're working all the kinks. Turns out I look more into this uh, and I found an, someone else that is messing around with these. And they said that to wake up the BMS is as easy as connecting these two wires right here. The yellow and the purple. I kind of feel kind of dumb because I didn't try to do that. I mean, you know, I, I didn't do much. I was just kind of looking at it and like doing this other stuff. I try to look for info, and then once I couldn't find anything, I thought, yeah, this is gonna be really hard to figure out how to get this BMS to work. Well, it turns out may I not be as hard. So let's try that. I cut the wires here, peeled them back, and then put them together. Didn't work. Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> it did work. <laughs> it's odd. Okay, so 40, 40 volts. Oh my God. Okay, so we don't need to do any of this junk. Ah, uh, okay. So let me just test it. Let me put a load in here and see that, make sure that it is really on, right? It might just be half on. We've run into some batteries that just turn on, you know, and they would let you pull a few amps, but then after that, it'll turn itself off if it doesn't see a thing. We've seen that before. So just to just to make sure okay so it seems like yeah it'll take full charge through that port and also this uh cables over here red and black also have the same voltage 41 and then these ones over here also have that so these might just be the same output or these those might be charge ports but here's the interesting thing if you disconnect those wires, you see how it's got nine amps right now going? When you disconnect it, boom, it goes back, it goes down to 3.4 amps. So it is still putting amperage in there. So it's still charging the battery when those cables are disconnected. And if we connect them again, yeah, it goes, it goes up to nine. Disconnected, three. So this does seem to be a switch. Okay, so here we are. We just connected the battery to this. Now this was, there was voltage here, but I don't know if it's because it's still on, even though we disconnected the cables or it's just the, the caps. Although, is there any caps in here? I don't know if there are any caps. Um, so I pre-charged this so it wouldn't spark, right? But right now we're gonna connect it and we'll see if there's actually any voltage there without the cables connected, right? So we plug it in. There is voltage there because this thing powered up. Look at that. Oh, voltage too low. No, no, no. Okay, so there's only like, there's very little, three volts. So it's only, uh, it's either, it's, it's leakage, right? So it's voltage that is leaking through the MOSFETs. But when you actually load it up with the uh, with the load, then it turns off. It's strong enough to power this. Let's turn on the BMS. Okay, 40 volts. Okay, and now we are running. Look at that, 900 amps, 900 watts. So this is a thousand watt inverter. Yeah, so about 27 amps. Now I'm just using uh, car spade connectors in here because they fit in here. But you know, I don't know how how much current they'll be able to do. I guess this will be a test right now. This we're putting 27 amps on one of those. I guess I could set up another one. The, I think this thing has an 80 amp fuse inside, right? The BMS, and so. I guess a good guess would be that this is capable of like 70 amps, right? Probably 10% less of what the, the fuse will do, right? So this is probably like a 70 amp BMS. And so you'll be able to put two of these. So about, hey, this is 900. Yeah, so about 2000. So this is probably like a 1C battery. 
uh, one C BMS basically, right? So it has two kilowatt hours, and it's probably capable of about two two thousand watts of power through this cable right here, right? Through the BMS. Because more than that, it'll trip that one fuse in here. So it's definitely, you know, less than 2,000, around 2,000 or less than 2,000, but no more than that, right? And so, there we go. I love these uh, BMSs that have a, an on-off switch. This is really good because then you could plug them into stuff without having an arc connectors and stuff, right? So you don't have to pre-charge your stuff. Uh, and then you just, connect those two cables and now you have a battery that is powering up this uh, inverter here 800 900 watts right and so these are cool you can use them on e-bikes you can use them on golf carts you can use them on anything and you can parallel a bunch of these right um and th then you can just you know connect all the wires and turn them on at the same time a uh, forklift you know if you put enough of these uh, I don't know, four or five of these will give you two, 300 amps, right? So capable of powering big machinery, big golf cart and stuff. And obviously if you put two of these in series, then you can have uh, 72 volts, right? And so these packs are pretty amazing. So that's the cool thing. Guess what? Uh, the working packs are no longer gonna be an extra hundred bucks for their, our BMS because we don't have to make that BMS. This BMS works. And so I guess I want to discontinue that project over there. I guess I already have it done, designed. I, I, I could share it. I'd probably share it for all the people who, uh, who have these packs in the past and maybe they have a bad BMS or something. I don't know. I figure it's probably going to be very uh, – there's not going to be a lot of demand for, for uh, off-the-market, you know uh, – aftermarket BMS for this. Although maybe I think these cells are cap much more capable than 100 amps. And so, yeah, if you needed to get at least like past 70 or whatever, you know, that aftermarket one that I'm designing will do 70, uh, 100 amps. So maybe that's, well, make it available for people who want to squeeze every inch of power out of these, uh, right? And so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. All right, so this video is uh, good news. Uh, and it's a quick one. Let's go into our website and then lower the price in there. Change it up. Put that extra info in there. Okay, so here we are on our website. This is the back end of our website. And I just added this. I just added uh, the information here where it says, uh, BMS, you will need to connect the purple and yellow wires. Then the red and black wires will activate after a charge is applied, right? So available in two versions, choose from drop down menu. So that's gonna be different. So uh, cables cut, we don't have, I don't know. Do we have a bunch of other cable, cables cut? I don't know if we actually have a bunch of other cables cut. I think I'm gonna just go working. This is gonna be working module. Um, and this is going to be uh, original unmodified. I'm going to put unmodified, right? Then this is going to be working module. Yeah, new BMS. Uh, modified BMS. So what about modified? BMS with XT90 connectors output. The XT90 output and XT30 input. That that sounds good. So then we're gonna change the price here. Okay, so there we go. So now it's working unmodified module for 299 and then working modified 100 amp PMS. We only made a few of those. Anyways, this is just for someone who needs the extra, you know, 30 amps out of this module. So then they, they could do that. And this, by the way, this is already like modified by us, right? And so, okay, there we go. Uh, I'll add this video in here so people could see how it works. And then maybe I'll put a, a graphic here, like a diagram showing you just which cables to connect. All right, it's cool when we can figure out how to use a battery uh, with less work and we can lower the price, right? Like if you wanted one of these before, there's, there's a couple of people who bought one, but I don't know if they bought the unmodified or the modified one. I don't, I don't know. I hope this works. I hope you, uh, if you need a 36 volt or a 72 volt and you, yeah, these are like, I could say these are pretty 
high quality sales 2170s LGs, you know, so, and they're brand new, 100% capacity. So if you need that, then hit us up at jack35.com. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you, bye. Here are the uh, spade connectors, the regular automotive spade connectors. They fit in that connector there. Now, if you have the, the housing, if you have any info on this housing connector, let us know in, in the comments because it would be very useful to have this uh, connector so you can make one and you don't have to change it, you know?